everybody, welcome to the Colors of Beauty by Elle. I'm Isabel. Welcome all my new subscribers. I am going to show you how to do these cartoon lips today So for Halloween. So all you need, so that way you don't have to have a whole bunch of makeup on. You just do your cartoon lips, your googly eyes, and there you go. Trick or treat. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, you guys, you little goblins. What we're gonna do is we are going to moisturize our lips and exfoliate. Make sure you take off all the flakiness right around your lips so that your lips can be nice and plump. That way, it can, you know, your lip color will stay on a little bit better and not flake off. Okay? And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this lip liner that I got from Sally's and this is in the color red. And just go ahead and line your lips just like that, small strokes, feathery. Okay, that way you, you don't uh, mess up. And if you do, you can always just wipe, just like that. <laughs> okay, nice small strokes. And just go ahead and uh, line the lips. If you want to, if you've got smaller lips, you can go ahead and line the outer uh, the outer part of the lip. Okay, next what we're gonna do is get that lip liner and we're gonna color the inside corners of the lips, the ups and the downs, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and get this really pretty red color from, um, this is the Pulp Fiction one that uh, Urban Decay had. And it is so creamy and so pretty, and I love it. Um, you want to get a red-colored lipstick. You don't want to go with like a really, really deep red, but you do want to go with a bright, true red. And just go ahead and put that on your lips. Put that lipstick all over your lips, just like that. Okay. There we go. <laughs> and so now the next thing we're going to do this is really really important okay you're going to blot you want to blot because you don't want the other products that we're going to put on top to smudge or smear so it's important that we keep that color um, to stay on the lips okay so that's what we're going to do we just blot it next you're going to get an eyeliner um, now I'm using a liquid eyeliner like a um, this one I think is from L'Oreal you can use a pencil eyeliner if you want to um, a gel eyeliner if you want to with with uh, a gel uh, brush but I'm using this one because it's easier for me and I like it because it leaves a glossy look behind so what we're gonna do is go ahead and align the lips with the eyeliner with the black eyeliner, go ahead and do very, very small, tiny strokes, just like that, so that you don't get out of the out of the lip line, okay? And like I said, if your lips are smaller, you can go ahead and do this on the outer part of the lip line, okay? And just go very, very short strokes so that you don't get out of the lines. Okay, and don't forget the corners of the mouth, too. A lot of people forget the corners of the mouth, and it looks kind of funny. <laughs> okay, now if your liner starts to get dry, you can always use a different one or put it back in there, you know. Okay, so keep doing that until you have your, your liner all around your lips there. Okay, just like that. All right, so 
Then once you're done with the first layer, you're going to go back and do it again. But this time we're going to go ahead and do it just a little bit thicker. Okay? So that the lips can stand out more. So we did it once and then we're going back and doing it again. Just a little bit thicker. All right? And then just do small strokes and get whatever you, you missed behind. And your lips are going to look kind of funny. <laughs> kind of just like that. Okay? All right. Ta-da! That's how they're going to look. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this teeny tiny uh, brush. This little brush right there, I got it from the Maybelline um, gel liners. You know how they come with the little brush? That's the little brush that comes with it. And I'm getting a black eyeshadow. You can get any black eyeshadow as long as it's matte. And go ahead and get that teeny tiny brush and fill in the corners just like that. I like to do a patting motion so it doesn't disturb the, um, the lipstick and it doesn't get all yucky and cakey. So just pat that on on the upper and the lower corners of the lips. Okay, just like that. And don't forget the inside, the very corners there, the ends. <laughs> All right, and do the other side now. All right, just like. So when you're done with that, it's going to look like this. Ta-da! <laughs> Looks kind of funny. Now we're going to get that little brush again, and we're just going to get the tip of that brush, and you're going to do the bottom part of the lip. You know where you're, when your lips close together, where they meet, when you close your mouth, that's where you want to put the uh, eyeshadow. We're just going to go ahead and shadow that in, okay? And then when you close your mouth, you want to barely see the black eyeshadow. You don't want to go beyond that because you just want the shadow to show when your lips are closed. And then you just put it on the, all the way on the, across the top of the lower lip and across uh, the bottom of the uh, the upper lip. Okay. And just pat, pat, pat. There you go. All right. So then your lip's going to look like that when you're done. Now you're going to get a little bit more of that color. Okay, the black eyeliner. I mean, the black eyeshadow, sorry about that. And what you're going to do is you're going to make these little tiny lines in between the creases of your lip. You know how you have the natural creases on your lip? Just go in between that with the little tiny brush. Okay, you're going to do the tops and the bottom. And then you're going to go back and do the same thing with the gel liner or the eyeliner that you use to line your lips with. Okay, that's going to give it a little, it's going to be darker, and then it'll stay better. And it'll be a little bit shiny, which is nice, because you want it to be just a little bit standy out. And then what I'm doing is I'm fanning myself. No, <laughs> I'm fanning it so it could dry the, the, um, the eyeshadow, <laughs> I mean the eyeliner. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and take this white gel liner and this one is from um from inglot and i'm putting just a little bit on the back of my hand because i don't want to double dip in that and then getting that same tiny brush i cleaned off that brush by the way and just scoop it onto the brush see how i'm just kind of scooping it up you're going to get a little scoop just like that just a tiny scoop and you're going to go ahead and just place that right underneath that uh, lip liner on the top, just on the top, I mean the bottom, just right on the bottom of that lip, black lip liner. Okay, now don't overdo it. Don't over, um, 
brush it because you don't want to disturb the uh, the uh, lipstick and you don't want the colors to get um, all messy. So just kind of like very, very lightly put it right on top. Just place it on top and just kind of move it where you want it to go. Okay? And don't, don't over process it. Don't overdo it. You know, just tap a little bit and just go, just move it just a little bit. Okay, just like that. This, uh, what this does, it makes it look like the, the lips are shiny. You know, when you're looking, it looks like it's reflect, reflection. Okay. So just put it right there, right underneath the, the black. And then now we're going to go ahead and put some on the bottom lip. Right on top of the lip liner. You know, the, the, um, that line that we put on for the bottom. And just randomly just put little spots here and there. All right. Just grab a little bit more and just dab. Just move it around there. There you go. Just like that. Okay, the next thing we're going to go do is we're going to get some more of that liner and we're going to just put it on top one more time <laughs> so that if we messed up, we don't have any residue on that, uh, on that black line. So we want it to be nice and clean and pronounced. Okay, so just go ahead and do that just like that. Okay, now the last step, we're going to go ahead and take some concealer. And what this is going to do is we're just going to go ahead and clean up the edges. Anything that's gotten smudged or um, out of the lines, we're going to go ahead and clean that up. Just take a Q-tip and just go over the outside of that lip liner so it can look nice and clean. All right, just like that. And I like to use a Q-tip, that way the brush doesn't get all yucky and nasty. I mean, you can use a brush if you want to, but you know, I just, uh, that's what I had, so that's what I re reached for. There you go. All right, and we are done with our cartoon lips. And that is what you're left with, is this. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm back. That was really, really easy. You can do it with all kinds of stuff that you have at home. You can even do it with NYX Jumbo pencils if you have them. So, okay, you don't need a lot of makeup to do Halloween. So there you go. My Halloween tutorial for the year. <laughs>